Hey guys, today I'm going to be unboxing Stuff Fables from Plat Hat Games. Let's check it out. Okay, so I'm pretty excited. This actually came a day early. And so, we're going to get right into it. Let's go ahead and cleanly and safely cut towards me. And I like seeing, by the way, the um, Fantasy Fight supplies list down here when it comes to like sleeve protectors and how many you need. I always like that. That's one of the most common questions ever asked for any board game with cards. I like that it's answered right there. Now this very, very soft, slick material here is kind of interesting. Okay, so now first of all we have Read Me First. No. Then we have the rule book. Actually looks pretty thin. Um, I like that. I like that. I'll take a look in here. Full color. Full color is nice. It looks pretty well organized. I may have to give you guys my thought on that. I love the uh, the big art here that they have, which is very nice. Very cool. Enjoy me an art book. I have... Oh, look. It even comes conveniently with one punch, so that's convenient. I didn't do that. I don't know where it is. Hopefully it's, hopefully it's somewhere. Uh, looks like just one, one cardboard tray of stuff here. This is the big, this is thicker than I thought it was. Now this is interesting because this actually is the board game. So again, some good art, it's got stories, but that is where you're going to play the Crawling Dread. And then this one is The Place That Lies Beyond. I'm not going to keep going, but uh, very excited to look into that. That looks that looks good. This is nice and, th and thick pages too. Very cool. Okay, so next up it looks like we have the player boards. So we have each character board there. Then we have the bag. This is where you're going to put all the dice in. This seems quite plain and quite rigid, though well made. Just, uh, you know, it's a normal bag. Um, then we have cards and more cards and more cards and more cards. Lots and lots of cards, all individually packed. Then we have, we'll get to the miniatures later, lots and lots of dice because you're going to be pulling a whole bunch out and kind of stacking them and keeping them. Then you have your currency, your little buttons. I kind of like that. That's kind of cool. And the one piece that, that fell. Now, let's talk a bit about this. So here are all of the miniatures. I'm going to go into an actual component overview in a moment, so you can look forward to that. This is just kind of a quick thing. They're just all jumbled in a bag here, and a basic cardboard thing with no real ability to store them otherwise. So when I paint these, they're either going back in the bag, they're being thrown in here, or I have to figure something else out on my own. I'm not a big fan of that. I complained about that on Fallout. Right here, I'm going to compl complain about it here. There are lots of other board game makers making, you know, plastic trays or uh, inserts or... It, there's just so many solutions beyond the basic two trays with some cards and a bag of minis to where I feel... I don't know if it's... I don't know if it's when they'll actually start calling them miniatures as opposed to plastic figurines that they do on the back of the box or if it's something else, but I would like to see some more care go into some of the components because these look really good, as you're about to see. I'm sure they look great. I haven't opened them yet, but I can see them here and they look fantastic. That I would like to see some more care put into that. That being said, you get a ton here for the value, so that's exciting. Anyway, let's go on from the unboxing to the component overview now. All right, guys, so looking at these components a bit closer, this is what I threw away. It does say read me first, and really what it's saying is there's this discovery deck full of story cards. Don't look at them, you'll spoil it. Um, so don't do that. Don't rearrange them, don't look at them, don't do anything like that. Read that first. Moving on, we have the rule book. Now I'll show this a little bit, but I'm going to show it a little bit closer here. So as you can see, it has a lot of really good arc. It talks about, let's see if I can remember these as I go through it. So we have the storybook, the character cards, the minion cards, the discovery deck that I just mentioned. We have the inability to flip pages. We have item cards, environment cards, lost cards, status cards, and sleep cards, and then a whole bunch of other components. It looks like it just goes through and says, you know, here generally how to lay out different different games and 
uh, different components and stuff like that. You've seen some of these already. Either way, very nice, good quality paper. I like it. Moving on, we have the cardboard tokens. It looks like they pop out, as you can see, quite easily. Um, they, it doesn't like you're going to have too many um, hanging bits like this. That's actually kind of to a minimum. By the looks of it, I'll I'll have to, you know, looks like, uh, maybe I lied. It looks like that one was kind of tough on there too. Not the easiest to punch out. However, if we look at the thickness, it does look quite nice. It has a good finish to it too. Very nice. Um, I'm not too concerned about these being handled by kids. Looks pretty good. Okay, now I've mentioned this bag during the unboxing, and I guess I was expecting a bit more of a, you know, a bag, right? Like the normal kind of soft inside felt bag. And this is very, I don't know if you can hear that or not. It's very, uh, I don't, I don't know mass produced i guess you could say which is fine you know it just has to work and it will work however if you have an actual really nice dice bag that's about this big i'll suggest swapping it out um not the best Ooh, this is soft though i do like that i might i might play with that okay moving on to this so you've seen this again a bit and i'm not going to show a whole lot what i am going to show is that first of all it does sort of go all the way out like so there's a little lip there. Let me try and see if I can't. Do you see the issue here? So, you know, you get this little curved part here that kind of prevents you from really. I don't want to ruin it or anything either. So let's see. Will it actually fall? Eh, yeah, kind of iffy on there. However, that's fine. You're, you're going to mainly be playing it like this, where you'll read different parts, play the game. Looks nice. What I did want to point out, and I didn't want to look too far into it, just... The talking points here are very cool. So at the end of each quest, at the end of each story, they have talking points you can bring with your children. Pretty neat. I like it. And then on the back, a tiny little bit about the different characters that you can play, along with the table of contents where all the endings are and whatnot. And there are seven stories included. All right, let's move on to the actual character cards here. This is one of the few things that actually came in a reusable bag. Not even their dice came in a, a bag, so I'm assuming... Supposed to put it in the kind of felt bag there, but looks like a little bit of damage there. I don't know if you can see that or not, uh, just from their their kind of storage technique, because not everything's really separated. So these are very thin, like extremely thin. Um, that's disappointing, really. Like the color is good. I like that. I like uh, one, two, three, four, five, six different options. Two, three. Yeah. Yeah. So plenty of options there however they are very very thin um i don't know i don't know why they didn't use a thicker cardstock on that that's mildly disappointing so i want to be careful with that um i guess it's odd it would i wouldn't have too much of an issue with it except you know this is a game where you play with kids you know so you should keep that in mind all right, so here we have, I believe, the statuses that you can have, so you can be, like, worried and stuff like that. These are your typical, um, you know, small cards. Not the thickest, again, but this is this is fine. If they had made the character cards out of this, I would have not even said anything. Um, but they didn't, so it's much thinner than these normal cards. Um, good feel to them. Um, if you did... See, anytime you get a stack like this and then you sleeve them and it like doubles the size and they fall over. I do like the design though. It looks quite cool and very obvious and noticeable face down. All right, let's move on to this pack here. This looks like... Oh, I opened it and there was an opening. Let's try and use that. See how that works. Oh, look at that. I scratched the, the side there. I suck at this. Sorry. Anyway, taking this off, it looks like we have... The same cardstock. It works. It's fine. Actually, I don't know. This seems a little bit smoother. But it looks like here we have uh, several different kinds of cards. Again, I already forgot the kinds. Uh, these are the sleep-wake ones. Remember that. I don't know what, what these are, but quite a few of these. A whole lot of these. I like how the colors change quite a bit, especially for how dark all these cards are, right? So they got the, kind of the blues and purples, but they have different shades and hues of each one. They got some pinks in there. And they change what's in like the corner all around pretty nice 
these are pretty wordy. Um, it looks like these are kind of choices you can make and and whatnot. But very good art, by the way. This these look fantastic. Like I don't know who did the art in this game. They did a great great job with them. They really did. Moving on to this. I'm not actually not going to open this up. Uh, looks like the same quality though, but these are the ones we're not supposed to open. They are divided with these kind of dividers inside. You're supposed to keep them in the same order. So, um, gotta be careful with that. Moving on to this one. That did not line up, did it? These look like items, if nothing else. There might be some more. Alright, so we got... I wonder if there are any repeats at all, or if they're all... I always like it when there aren't repeats, so like two people don't have the same thing. These all look unique, which is quite... Oh, 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 several juice boxes, so maybe some of the items are repeated. But really, there's not a lot of repeats that I'm seeing here, which is quite impressive. That's nice, I like that a lot. And then it looks like these are kind of reference cards for the four different people that can play. So you have your attribute and what the dice are. This is kind of cool. So red dice are strength, green are agility, yellow are perception, blue are resistance, and purple are wild. And it says what each one does on the back. And then you have the typical player turn, which I have not read the rules yet or anything like that, so I'm not too concerned about it. That is a good segue, naturally, it seems, to the dice. And these are the dice. As you can see, you actually get quite a few. Unreasonable bag, so toss that. Toss it. Alright, there we go. Um, they have a good difference in color, which I like. Um, they are the smaller dice, but they, they feel good. These are not painted on. They're, they're dipped in, which is nice, so the pips show up well. And, uh, yeah, I mean, they, they're dice. They look pretty good. Alright, two more items. So we have the currency, which are buttons. What I did notice about the buttons is they are different by the looks of it. I mean, maybe, maybe I'm wrong here. Yeah, perhaps I am. Yep, yeah, okay, so they're all the same. Never mind, I lied. I just, the two different sides are different. But, uh, otherwise they're just plain. Looks like I have one here. Might have a little bit of a nick, but that is okay. Looks like you get a variety of, no, no, three per color. So, I don't know if the colors matter. I, about, I doubt they do. But that's nice. Alright, and what we've all been waiting for, the minis. In the bag, which is disheartening. But... That's what it is. I'm sorry, they're not miniatures. They are plastic figurines. So I will say that because I'm used to kind of a more standard sizing, they are pretty small. So you can see kind of how I'm holding it here. Uh, fairly tiny, fairly small, but that's all right. It's not the end of the world or anything. Um, but good detail. Like uh, you can see his his tail fine, but you can also see... And again, I hope this is showing up well. You can see some texture on him himself. Uh, him himself. I don't know if I'm using words correctly there. But good, d enough detail to show you what it is without going over the top. But these actually look quite good. This is closer to standard size, I would say. And so if this is standard size, you can kind of see there are... They feel about half standard size, because he even seems slightly too small. In fact, here's a Fallout miniature right next to him. So there's a size comparison for you on kind of how big they are. And then here is a... Well, so let's pick Floppy and the Super Mutant. They would never be seen together, but as you can see, difference in size there. However, like, these guys are quite big, so they go from big to small to... These are skinnier than I thought they'd be. Um, to even larger, right? This guy's actually quite large. Um, even more so for the size difference, right? I mean, he's huge and scary comparatively. But these look nice. The, the texture inside of the stuffing looks good. And in general, I'm just really impressed. Also notice there are different shapes. I don't know what that means. So these are the same person, as far as I can tell. But their bases are all different. I don't know if there's a, a boss unit, or if they're just random, or what. I'm not sure. Kind of interesting. Anyway, these look great. These are normal people. It's a little bit more comparative to what you'd expect, perhaps. Looking at where they, 
gown meets the foot. It actually looks like it's pretty well detailed. So overall, I'm really impressed with these. I can't wait to start painting them. Anyway, guys, that's it for my unboxing. I hope you enjoyed the video here. I hope it helped you kind of figure out what's involved and maybe brought some hype into actually reviewing this and painting these, which you will see plenty of those videos very soon for me. I'm really excited to actually get this on the table with my kids. My f wife actually flies back tonight. I'll be picking her up a little bit after midnight. And so a late fight there, but all that means is that we'll be together as a family and we can actually get this down on the table and play it. Please provide a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. I always appreciate that. That helps out the video and the channel a lot. Let me know in the comments below if you have any specific questions or if you're just uh, looking forward to uh, perhaps a, a specific miniature that you'd like to see painted. I'm thinking of doing all the heroes here, but I can always change that up if something interests you guys more. So let me know. And as always, thanks so much for watching. I'll talk to you again next time.